You would put up, uh, I think, uh, an Instagram photo where you were at Kanye's house with Russell Simmons and Rick Rubin? Um, no, I was at Rick Rubin's house. Oh, you were at Rick Rubin's house? Yeah. Okay, and who else was there? Yeah, James Harden. It was a lot of, it was a lot of famous people, man. All the Kardashians, uh, Russell Simmons. Yeah, some more people. It was, it was, it was, it was live, man. Well, Rick Rubin's a legend. Rick Rubin's one of the greatest musical people ever, period. Yeah, it's uh, true. Of any kind of music. Not, not even just hip-hop. What, what was the story behind that whole thing? Um, who got me in touch with him really was um, Chris Rock, the uh, comedian. And he got me in touch with him. Um, I met him on the set of Empire. And, um, you know, we was chopping it up, you know. And um, he texted Rick Rubin and said, check out Montana of 300, you know. And then, like, a couple hours later, he showed me his phone, and he was like, Rick Rubin says he likes you, you know? Then he was like, um, he was like, go, uh, he said, give me your number, you know, before we leave, you know? He said, you and Rick Rubin need to link, man. You know, you need to go down to L.A. and uh, link up with him. You know, um, he's like, man, he got mansions, man. You can go down there and, you know, chill, you know, for some weeks. Stay down there, man. Just, you know, uh, you guys need to link and do some work together, you know? And, um... And I didn't, uh, I didn't, he, it, after I gave him my number, I didn't hear from him anymore after that, you know? Like, so he never called my phone, you know? But then, like, two months later, uh, I get a call from Rick Rubin, and it's like, he stuck to his word, you know? So uh, Chris Rock actually did what he said he was going to do, you know? And, um, and then Rick Rubin just flew me, flew me out there, you know, for a, couple, for a few days. And um, I was in the studio forever, never been in the studio that long in my life before. But um, yeah, it was cool, man. We had a lot of good uh, hospitality and stuff like that. Everything was cool, man. Good dude. So you were in the studio with Rick Rubin for how long? I was probably there for like over ten hours straight. And what'd you guys come up with? Uh, I don't really want to talk about talk about that right now. I will okay. give too much of that information away. All right, fair enough. But you you got to work in the studio with the legendary Rick Rubin. Yeah. That's what's up. So there was rumors that you have songs with some other people too. Uh, Kanye, Jay-Z, Lil Wayne. Is that true? Yeah, I don't want to talk about that either. You don't want to talk about that? I don't want to talk about Get no light on so, that. So you're not confirming or denying it. This is what you're saying right now? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm not talking about that. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's going on with your label situation? Are you, I mean, you're independent right now, but... Yeah, What's I'm independent. I'm um, staying independent right now. I got a lot of um, labels actually asking me right now. Um, you know, do you um, like what kind of record deal do you want? You know, like to really uh, make it work. You know, in my favor, and you know, asking about you know my artists and you know exactly what I what I want to do and what type of deal I'm looking for. You know, so to me that's a good sign because a year ago when I was talking to labels. They wasn't asking all that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, um, so I'm I'm doing good, you know. I'm, like I said, I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not desperate. I'm I'm very comfortable where I'm at right now, and I'm just, you know, building my value and you know, staying busy and staying working. You know, showing people how how I move and you know how me and my team, uh, how me and my team move around. A record deal these days is different than it was ten years ago, twenty years ago. There's 360 deals now, which are kind of standard, and record sales aren't doing what they used to do either. So a lot of the money comes on shows and and um, your publishing and so forth. Like, what's it going to take for you to actually go with a record label right now and give up the whole independent thing? Is there like a specific thing that you're looking to do? Um, it'll probably really just be a lot of uh, you know creative control and. And a lot of, um, as far as like, I don't want anybody, I don't want to have to ask anybody for the green light to drop anything that I'm trying to do, you know, or, uh, or which song or, you know, or how I dress and what I put out, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to see, like, they see the moves that I'm making on my own and the judgment that I make with me and my team, you know, and the stuff that I put out. So, um, you know, they have to trust me as far as, that type of point. So I, the only thing I really be interested in is like 
doing some type of partnership, like a like a eighty twenty thing or something like that, where I still get to run my um my label and 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 and, and myself as well, you know. Like uh, we all bring a little bit of something to the table. We all bring some of y'all connects and you know and and let me let me work my magic on my end, you know. And we just all eat. Yeah, I mean that's kind of like what Macklemore did. Macklemore has his own label, but he teamed up with Warner Brothers to do radio, and you know because they do radio well. So that that's how he was able to get all those songs on the radio, but still kind of maintain his own his own control. So how did the whole Empire thing come together? Because I remember when Empire was on, suddenly I saw Montana 300 all all of my you know in my timeline. Right. Um, I got a call. I guess some uh, lady was looking for. She made a post something that was like. She looking for unsigned rappers that can actually rap, you know, and then a lot of people keep kept tagging my name and she said she saw my um my Chirac video and she's like, you know, she felt like I would be perfect, you know. And I had to go in for audition and rap and I rapped uh Game of Pain. And then the next uh, and it was like three ladies there and they asked me, uh they was like, you know that that was so good and can you come back the next day and do it again? We want you to do it in front of Lee Daniels, you know? So I'm like, all right, cool. So I came back the next day and it was like 12 people in the room this time. And Lee Daniels was in there too, so I rapped the same rap. And uh, when I got done, he was like, uh, that was terrifying. So I'm looking like, I don't know if that's a bad thing, you know? He was like, but it was beautiful, you know. And he, you know, he started clapping. You know, he was like, um, you know, he asked me, you know, where I, where I was from, and um, you know, have I ever done any acting, stuff like that, you know. So, and then the next day, I got a um, call saying that I, uh, I got a role on Empire. So, and that's why I ended up having to meet Chris Rock. He ended up linking me with uh, Rick Rubin, basically. So, you know, they say everything happened for a reason, or you know. One door opens, and you know, some more follow. Did you actually have any speaking roles in the last episode of Empire? Because I remember I saw you with, uh, with Lucius. You know, you were part of his crew, but, but I didn't actually hear you talking, or did I miss it? No, I didn't uh, rap. They had, uh, they had Petey Pablo writing music on there. And, um, and uh, I would rather rap my own music because I have my own fan base, you know, going right now for myself. And I know whatever comes out of my mouth is very critical and has uh, very high expectations, you know, when it comes to my fan base and what my fans expect from me, you know. So, um, so yeah, I didn't um, do the um, rapping stuff on there as far as writing, rap, reciting somebody else's lyrics. I'm not into that. Do you have more... Do you have any speaking roles coming up? And, and are you, uh, I'm, I'm in jail. I'm, I was in jail. I was in jail on there. I think they like shooting like episode eight or nine right now. And um, so it's a possibility that I could get called back, you know, uh, for something else. But, um, you know, the season could change actually how they have it written out as of now, like they're actually still shooting. So we just been aired, you know, episode one and two, you know, already. So um, as of now, he's just, he just got out of jail. So they need a um, key need to come bomb me out of jail or something like that, or they need to free me, put me back on the show. Something. I got pressed by Tax G Big on me. Like, yo, we don't like that video. We don't like uh something that Dice made towards my man. He shouldn't have said nothing. It's either P Dice or it's all of y'all. Like, we want problems. And as long as he's in y'all squad, we want problems with y'all. Wop said, all right, he gotta go. Fred Rose Star won by default. Keith Murray defeated himself. And I'm up for a rematch right now, anytime. And anybody who think they want to challenge Keith Murray, I'm open for that challenge too.